What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Fit, Healthy, and Most of All Happy podcast. I'm your coach and host, Josh, here with... His co-host and co-coach, KG, and I'm here with my coffee. And it's Motivation Monday. So if you're new around here, Motivation Monday is a little bit more free-flowing. We like to talk about what's relevant to us, what's relevant in the world, answer some of your questions, and begin by sharing our favorite quotes. And we're going to kick that off with Kyle's. What do you got? So my quote this week is, if you're tired, you don't need rest, you need more stuff you're excited about. And this is something I've had saved on my phone forever. And two weeks ago, you guys will remember, we did the episode on how to have more energy and we popped off there. And the one thing that I felt like, I'm sure some of you who have put out content and uh, you know maybe had a conversation or whatever, you're just thinking of that one thing that you forgot to say. And that was the one thing that was just on the top of my head. And I just kept thinking, you know, we were talking a lot about getting proper sleep, going on walks, taking breaks, doing all this amazing stuff. Make sure to check that out. It was about four episodes ago that went out. But the one thing I was just thinking is like, I feel like my energy is always so much higher when I have something I'm pumped for. Even last night, I've actually started journaling before bed, which is pretty cool. And I wrote down three things I want to accomplish in the morning. So because I had that list, when my alarm clock went off, I'm usually already excited for it, but this was like a next level excitement. It was like, okay, get on my walk, be nice and efficient. And I just find that when you have a purpose, when you have more things that you're striving for, and I know it's not as easy for everyone with their work situation to always have like the, the biggest purpose and stuff, depending on what you do, I think you can always find a purpose within that, but I know you, your work is kind of what you do, but even outside of work, what hobby are you looking forward to? Like what things excite you? And that's something I write down on my journal every day is three things I'm looking forward to. And it's hard not to be pumped up. It's hard not to have energy when you do this. So that's why I wanted to rel relate this random thought with my quote for the week. Yeah, we've done a few episodes on how to get and stay motivated. And the author of that book, Grant Cardone, one of the things he talks about is how a lot of the time when we're sad or we're bored, it's because we don't have much going on. We have a lot of time in our head, a lot of time to our thoughts. Not that we should always just be filling our time with activities to escape these feelings because those feelings can be important. You can identify them and solve them. But he makes the point that remember that last time you were so busy, you were running around from place to place. The day was crazy. It's hard not to feel good, to feel kind of happy, to feel accomplished, even if it is little dinky mundane tasks. And as Kyle mentioned, I really really resonate with this because the days I find where I move the least, I have the least going on, I have nothing really to look forward to, are the days I feel the most sore and the most tired. And even for me, a great thing I've been loving to do, even on my nice, calm, relaxing days, is going on some walks. Studies have shown that going on a walk is like a net neutral or a net positive for energy. You think it'll be really tiring on you, but it's actually very relaxing for the body. It gets your joints moving, it gets some blood flow, it gets just nice breathing work. You gotta be outside in nature and it can be a great refresher and it can actually energize as you pass where you've been. I've even been challenging myself with some longer night walks, some longer morning walks, been enjoying that time. And what I really love as I'm doing my book challenge right now is working through audiobooks on these walks, just having a good time to look around, be in nature, be present, but also enjoy learning about something while I do it. So as Kyle mentioned, we wanna make sure we're filling our calendars and our time with good positive things that build us up, that make us feel great. And I absolutely love that quote by him. Now for my quote, we have doubt kills kills more dreams than failure ever will. And this is by Susie Kasim. So I will say that again, and that is doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. A lot of us, it's easy to be scared of failing. We think it's embarrassing. We think it's gonna be just the worst thing in the world if we go to the gym and we don't do an exercise right and someone sees us. The truth is no one really cares about your failure as much as you do. And failure, if you can really flip it around and use it as a tool, can be incredibly, incredibly powerful. If you failed your diet, you need to ask yourself, why did you fail your diet? What was holding you back? Maybe every night at 8 p.m., the version of you comes out, you go looking for food in the cupboards, you got nothing else exciting going on, you're watching TV, and that's the reason you failed. Or you failed because you've been dieting, and when you go out to eat dinner, you don't know what to do, you don't know healthy options to get. So you have to find solutions to those problems. And it's funny I bring that up, I guess it's on the top of my mind, because Kyle just created an absolutely fantastic book, an ebook on actually what to eat when you go out, like an eating out diet guide book from all of our favorite restaurants, as well as some additional tips. If you didn't listen to the episode last Thursday, you can still get that guide totally free. First link in the description of this episode. And I just think that's a perfect example of highlighting, being able to identify why you failed, get back to the drawing board, think about it and come back better. And the more you can be comfortable with failing, the more willing you will be to take chances, to have big dreams, to get things done. And even I've really been identifying failure in my life because it sucks. It's not a fun feeling, but 
it's very important to identify with it and being comfortable with failing will only make you stronger. So doubt is what you really need to worry about. The second you doubt yourself, and I think this is a great transition into what Kyle has to say for his thoughts. Yeah, and it's funny that Josh, it's like, it's it's, it's kind of like he was doing some mind reading, like knowing that this is what I was gonna talk about. But uh, you know, I, as I was doing some self-reflection, I realized that although I feel like I am very positive, I'm always looking for that next level. I always say push to the absolute limit. I did notice a few times and uh, you know, Josh had mentioned it actually a few times where I doubted myself. And as I did a bit of reflection, you know, sometimes I'll just go on a walk and think, okay, like what's going on? Like what's actually happening in this brain of mine that's leading me to doubt myself. So there's been two occasions in the past week where I've said, I doubt that I could do this or I don't think I'm capable of it, I guess you could say. And the reason I feel like I've been doing this is because I would rather, and this is something I'm working on now, now that I'm realizing this pinpoint is, I'm not a fan of failure. It's just something that naturally I like to succeed, I like to crush it, I like to set a goal and conquer it. And so for me personally, what I've noticed is I, I didn't wanna say the number out loud, the thing that I was like really pushing for because I would have rather accomplished a lower number and said, Hey, this is what I was striving for. So I'll give you an example. We're going into the gym. It's going to be leg day. I said, you know what? I'm going to max out. Josh said, you got 405 pounds easy. And I was like, Oh yeah, right. I doubt I'll do that. And even though I knew that I could possibly do that, I didn't want to admit that that's what I was going for in case I failed. And that's just a natural thing. So I told myself and, and Josh called me out. He said, well, you know, you're not going to get it if you, if you doubt yourself like that. So instantly I turned it around. I said, okay, you know what? 405. I constantly thought about 405. It's not my all time personal record. What did I do? I did 405. So I was really happy that he called me out there, but uh, it's just a lesson learned that like, you know, what's the worst that happens when you fail, you know? And that's where I think a lot of people struggle is they start this fitness journey. They say, Hey, I'm going to lose 20 pounds and they don't want to tell people they don't want to say it out loud because they'd rather get by and do a couple good things than just like admit to the world. Because if they have a bad day or if they go backwards or something like that, that they're going to fail. But I was also doing a competition with coach Jason, who's down here and I was down nine points to four. We've been doing a lot of fun things such as chess, push-up competition, bench press. We did some dead hangs, a lot of other fun things. And when I was down, I said, oh, I'm not gonna win. I'm down and out. And Josh caught me as well. He said, well, not with that attitude, you're not. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna flip the script here. I'm gonna put every everything on the table. I'm gonna put in work. I'm gonna change the mindset. Ended up winning. It was like 15 to 14 or something like that, just all in within the entire two weeks of competitions. But it's crazy how the power of the mind is. And I didn't want to admit to myself that I was trying my best and you know, I was, as I was, I was down nine points of four, I'd rather just say, oh, you know, it is what it is. I don't care as much and lie to myself, right? So it's something I'm actively working on. I want to be transparent because I notice a lot of people have this self-doubt that is limiting them. And yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Hopelessness is a dangerous thing. If you think you have no ability to succeed through a situation or if you're trying to lose weight and you say, it's not for me, it's impossible, I can't do it, you're gonna to come to believe that. And I promise you there are tons of mechanisms to do it. And maybe you have tried to diet six times and you failed every single time. There are solutions that can be had. You just need to look for them. Listen, to this podcast is a great start. Our online coaching, we guarantee your results or your money back, which is something we are incredibly proud of. And you can know with a like a big assurance that if you come into the program, you challenge yourself, you listen to the curriculum in a sustainable and healthy way, you will have success. There's a reason we have a 98% success rate. And we have spent over 10 years building up this program to be effective and consistently effective. And at the end of the day, there's always a solution to every failure. And when you think big, you start to achieve big. But if you really put yourself in a box, you become a person who's always doubting yourself, that's gonna get you nowhere. Be your biggest cheerleader. Even when it's impossible, say, I'm gonna put in this effort, I'm gonna do what I can you're going to notice you're going to get more and more success in your life we always mention the harder you work the luckier you get it's just the same principle there and it's funny i completely forgot what quote i had inserted i like to kind of fill out and plan these podcasts throughout the week as i read articles listen to podcasts read books do all these different things but today for my book and with my book recommendation for this week is atlas of the heart by renee brown it isn't something i would typically listen to but i've been challenging myself to not just read what I'm comfortable with, what I enjoy, what I find stimulating, and to read things a little bit out of my comfort zone. And this book is highly recommended. I'm sure a lot of you listening have heard of it, but the author really spends time breaking down the different emotions and how we should be able to identify them and how most people only really are able to identify with three, which is sad, happy, and mad, which is pretty crazy that two of them are negative, one of them is positive. When you think of how many emotions and states and things there are. So it's been a really interesting read. Once again, it's 
it's a lot different and there's parts of it where I'm like, oh, I'm killing myself here. But I do find I'm learning more and I'm resonating from it. And I always pull something from all my books. When I'm listening to an audiobook, a good tip I have is if you have a to-do list or a notepad, when you hear a quote you like, pause that book, write that quote down or that thinking point and then transfer it over to your notes. You're going to gain a lot from that and receive a lot of benefit. And even here, she was mentioning how we learn little from victory, but we learn so much more in defeat and that failure is just a fantastic tool and part of the journey. So it's so easy, even relating this to my life. When we were playing chess originally, I had played a few more games than everyone else. I was winning. We had different guests. It was nice and easy. I didn't need to get any better. Kyle is a good example. He's been winning with this kind of set play. And I came and challenged that. And it's amazing how when you lose, you start to think critically, why did I lose? What do I need to do? I need to change my game. I got to start using these players. I can't get trapped here. And chess has just been a good example. It's been something we've randomly enjoyed on this trip. It's been a lot of fun. And with each different person, I've found I've learned a lesson. And it's the same with your fitness journey. You're going to fail in the gym. You're going to fail to be consistent. You're going to fail to have self-accountability. There's just going to be a myriad of things that come up. And there's going to be different situations you have to navigate. Maybe you're moving, it's impossible. You have your first kid, whatever it is, there's always a way through it. And when you can analyze that failure and really reflect on yourself and say, how can I improve? How can I grow? That's when you come become unstoppable. So that was my other thought I wanted to add on to my quote. And it's nice how all this is connecting so perfectly. Yeah. And I love that because even myself losing to Josh consistently, I have been pretty cool with it. I've been okay because each time that it happened, I learned a lesson. I was like, man, I shouldn't have moved my queen that way. Or I got to, I realized against him, I got to start using my other players because what works against someone else isn't going to work a horsey against boy. him. I'm a horsey boy. I've been using my horse every second. He knows exactly what play. So like the best question to ask yourself when you have that self doubt, when you have that thought, like a lot of you are competitive. I guarantee it. You're pushing yourself in the gym. You have competitions against friends, no matter what your situation is. But the biggest thing, whether you're super competitive or not, when you ask yourself about failure, the best question is what's that, what's the worst thing that's going to happen here. And even myself today, getting ready for that 405 squad, I don't want to focus on the negative. I don't want to focus on the self doubt, but I realize I say, Hey, what's the worst that happens? I've got the pin set up. Josh is filming. I wasn't using him as a spotter. If it doesn't happen, I dump it life is cool. I'll be good. And that's so inspiring and so nice to know that like, there's just, there's no bad thing. You know, some people think of the negative, like, man, the person beside me is going to see if there's going to be a big bang in the gym. Like everyone's going to be looking, but like, what's the worst that's really going to happen. There's really not a whole lot for the most part. And it's something that is so important to focus on, especially if you do have that self doubt, because once again, I've had two or three moments, but I know so many people who have like two or three moments every like few minutes. And that is something that we need to work on because it is definitely holding you back. So that's all I have to say for that. I'm super passionate as uh, I know Coach Josh is as well. All right, who do we have the shout out this week? Who's absolutely crushing it? Absolutely crushing it is Marco and he is working with Coach Jason. You will not believe his photos. Within the first eight weeks, it is absolutely insane. Make sure to click down below. It'll bring us right, it'll bring you right to the Instagram where you can actually see the photos. You can see his top tips and everything else that's been helping him out. And even when he sent in his progress photos, he was blown away. He couldn't believe what he had accomplished. And the best part is he's just getting started. So I'm gonna take one of his tips here. He had said for number one was to track your macros with accuracy and consistency. It does hurt to see the macros be off from your target, but it'll help you adjust your attitude for the next time adversity hits. And once again, on the topic of failure, on the topic of making those mistakes, those lessons learned, I love this because it's so applicable. Everything's kind of coming in together, even though we hadn't planned it. But the topic of just like having an error take place, like I'd way rather you know that you don't hit your macros and you made a mistake and a slip up and be able to work from it going forward than a lot of people where they they don't want to look at, you know, just the numbers. They don't want to actually face the fact that their weight's going up, that they're not hitting their proper protein and being able to look at these numbers and make those changes will help set you up for success. If you happen to go off on a night or just have a specific event and you realize you're like, holy, I need to fix this. That's so much better than just saying, oh, I don't really care. I'm not going to pay attention to it. So great job, Marco. We're just getting started and I'm really proud of you so far. Absolutely. Big shout out to Marco. And if he can do it, you can too. Once again, I truly believe in the reason I started doing online coaching, why I made this podcast, why I made the YouTube is I believe everyone deserves to be fit, healthy, and happy. And we all have unique barriers and obstacles that prevent us from doing it. But as I always like to say, the obstacle is the way we just got to find our way through that. And identifying that failure can often be the key to create new habits to be successful and burst through it. But this is Motivation Monday, previously Mailbox Monday, because we love to answer 
answer your questions. So if you have a question to submit, you can send it to us on Instagram. Our Instagram is at Colossus Fit, C-O-L-O-S-S-U-S-F-I-T. You can also find our Instagram in the show notes there. Definitely be sure to give a follow, ask a question, say hello if you love the podcast. We love to hear from that too. We also have a ton of great giveaways and just good content and advice going on there all the time. So make sure you are checking us out on Instagram. Once again, that is at Colossus Fit, C-O-L-O-S-S-U-S-F-I-T. But for the first question out of the mailbag, and I love this one because I've been asked this a lot and I get asked this a lot when people ask me what I do for a living. And that is what does online coaching involve and how does it guarantee it would work and how would you guarantee it would work for me? So this is honestly such a great question. The biggest thing to pay attention to is the fact that online coaching is cheaper, more personal, and significantly more effective. And typically speaking, I'm comparing that to either not having a coach or just having a personal trainer. And we've been doing this for over 10 years now, which has been absolutely phenomenal. And the biggest thing is taking a deeper look at each person. Where does this person struggle and where do they need the most amount of support? You know, and everyone is so unique. Everyone is so different. And that's what we've loved is we've literally had thousands of people come into the program with different situations. Someone that's a night shift worker, someone that has multiple kids, someone that is just uh, getting ready for some sort of powerlifting meter. Just every person is so unique and so different. And that's the biggest thing is I wanted to say, like in terms of guarantee, we take a full 360 look at your situation, your past workout history, your past diet history, what's going on in your life, how much time frame you have, and just so much more. And so kind of starting from the top and bringing it down, we take a look at the nutrition. So the nutrition, once again, is going to be so personalized. And this is where I find a lot of people struggle is they'll see some sort of diet plan online. They're just following a random buddy's macros that they heard. Oh, I'm having this much protein. Oh, okay, cool. I'm going to copy that. So nutrition, it's fully customized based off of your situation. And obviously we have enough experience to be able to take a look at someone's photos, their measurements, their body weight, their age, and put together the right numbers to help you stay on track. Nutrition is gonna be the biggest thing, one of the three pillars that we really like to focus on. So we'll help you. We have a state-of-the-art spreadsheet. Shout out to Coach Josh, he has perfected it over the years. And we have all that information put into the spreadsheet and we make changes on a weekly basis based off of how your body's reacting to that. So that alone is so much value. That's where we can guarantee success. You hit those numbers, you stay on track with that. We offer a million different solutions for once again, eating out, for you know going on a vacation, for having to special meal. There's so many different things to look at there. The workout side of thing, we call it hypervantage training because it me- it's meant to give you an advantage over everybody else. Everyone else is following a one size fits all program, no program at all, and that's where they get stuck. They go into the gym doing random things, they're not pushing themselves, Our goal is to give you an advantage by having the best workout routine based off of your workout history, what you have access to, your time frame that you actually have to be able to work out. Someone's workout routine is gonna be completely different than ours because we're at completely different situations and that is so important to take a look. And then on top of that, the biggest and most important thing past the nutrition, past the workouts, is the accountability, the lifestyle factors. We have hundreds of clients who have said, hey, I wanna go on vacation, I'm not sure how to navigate this, I need this change, Um, you know, can you put together some body weight workouts? They have some sort of event coming up. You have 24 hour access to your coach. We'll always get back to you within that time frame. offer you support, offer you accountability. We do weekly check-ins and just above all, having that person to reach out to is the biggest thing. Most people don't have someone by their side who cares about them, who's willing to support, who's willing to call them out. And that's why this coaching program is so effective. So there's the nutrition, the training, and then everything else between lifestyle, accountability, our amazing Facebook group. We have over a thousand dollars worth of ebooks between you know our form guide between our supplement guides between our you know suggested food list guide our recipe guide all these things are completely worth it that's what we do in a nutshell and uh, hopefully that makes sense Kyle crush it I really this was such a fantastic question because communicating why online coaching is so important is at the core of our heart there's a reason we spent all this time building up this program to be minimally invasive and the most successful and personal it can be. Because with personal training, as someone who was a personal trainer and saw its ineffectiveness, it's very frustrating for me. Someone would come in, I'd have to charge them a ton of money, but a hundred dollars a session. So if you're doing 20 sessions with me, you can do the math there. That is no joke, right? That's $2,000. If you're doing three sessions a week, you can burn through that pretty quickly. And those people would come in, they'd know that they have that hour with me to crush it and they would do great. And that 
that day. They would probably do great the day before with their food, but the rest of the week was a wash. Who knew what was going on? Uh, no one, with the time being tough, people would try to navigate the time and say, oh, I can't come at six, can we do another day? And it just, sometimes in a way, having a trainer is like an excuse to not learn or develop or grow yourself with personal training. With online coaching, we're taking a completely impartial thing. It's not necessarily a trainer. It's us being on your team. It's us giving you the guidance and everything everything you need, like the cheat codes to be as effective as possible. When we approach your nutrition, we approach it with your lifestyle. If you're someone who goes out, you travel a lot, you have a really active social life, you have kids, we'll teach you how to navigate that to still have your life and still be successful. If you're someone who's been training for a long time, we're gonna look at your body, find your weaknesses, identify your strengths, and show you how to continually evolve and improve and work towards your goals and your full potential. Similar to Kyle, having a coach is so fantastic because every time I get a new client, I identify they have a lot of self-limiting beliefs. They don't see themselves as strong. They don't see themselves as capable of gaining muscle. And we'll break through those things. And having a coach can give you the confidence to do that because we can push you. We can do it in a way where we're not emotionally attached. We can make rational, logical decisions. And that is just so valuable. And it's really important people identify with that. And that's why I love online coaching 10 times more than personal training. Training, and it works out to be cheaper. And what you'll notice with us too is it's very one-on-one. -on -one. There's other online coaches out there that are probably super cheap. They're probably $100, $200 a month. There's a chance they're a big influencer and you're talking to some random person working out who knows where just from Fiverr or something like that only talking them through email never seeing their face they probably have no idea who you are whereas I'm talking to my clients every single day I'm messaging them I'm checking their form we do video check-ins on your schedule so you send a video I send a video back you get to see me one-on-one -on -one, but you're not stuck to certain scheduling you're able to navigate your busy life and still have success and we do this in a really affordable way other people that offer our level of customization and personalization are three four or five times more expensive than we are. But we've really worked to have this be packaged to be available to anyone who's serious about investing in themselves and seeing change. So if you are like, I wanna level up, I want the best of the best, I want you on my team to guide me to be my best self to learn and that's the biggest thing too it's not just about we start with the 90 day accelerator it's not about that it's about what you'll learn in those 90 days for the rest of your life it's laying foundations for you to continue to be fit healthy and happy and you're going to save thousands hundred thousands or millions of dollars on your health your habits your knowledge your awareness by just being a better person with what you learn in these 90 days we've broken it down to be so effective so important and i can't wait to show you more if you're interested and want to learn more about it dm us fast loss on Instagram. Let's begin that conversation about your goals. See if you're a great fit. And if you're serious about transformation, I promise you, you are. And if you consider how many things you invest in your life, it's high time you invest in yourself because you are worth it and you deserve great results. So once again, to learn more, message fat loss to us on Instagram at Colossus Fit, C-O-L-O-S-S-U-S-F-I-T. Yeah, and the last thing I'll say, and I'm so glad this was asked because it's something that we're so passionate about and a lot of people just don't really understand. They see online coach and they hear us talk about it. So it's been something that's been asked quite often. So that's why we want to address it. But really pay attention. Like online coaching is incredible. You obviously trust us if you're listening to this. Some of you have been listening for years now and you know, some, a lot of you have also come into our program, which is absolutely phenomenal. But the big thing to pay attention to is just the people who... Unfortunately, like, so online coaching is absolutely incredible, but unfortunately, a lot of people, they've worked out a few times and they love fitness. And then you see in their Instagram bio the next day, online coach, hey, now I'm taking on some new clients. So you really do have to be careful with that. And that's why, once again, we do have a 98% success rate. We genuinely care. Like we've had a lot of conversations with other coaches. We've had a lot of clients who have actually come into our program and we're fixing every other coach's problem because they genuinely don't care. And if you can't tell, we care more than anyone else out there. And that's why we do believe we'll be a great fit to help every single one of you. We're so passionate. And uh, yeah, that's a great question. Online coaching is the way to go. It's gonna consistently grow. Be careful with who you choose and we're always here to take care of you. Care and integrity are what I always answer when people ask what makes you different from everyone else out there. And I think our podcast should highlight that if you see how much value we give for free and how much integrity we aim to have on this by being very science-based, by being research-based, by not just throwing in random ads and we get asked all the time, we'd make a lot more money. But at the end of the day, I'd rather this content be effective and amazing so everyone that's listening to this can actually see true change in their life and become 
fitter and healthier and happier for it because at the end of the day, that's what I love. And this is just a means for us to do that more one-on-one -on -one with people and to really help people break through those self-limiting beliefs, those obstacles, and to see their full potential. So once again, DM Fat Loss to us on Instagram to get this started. We look forward to coaching you, working one-on-one, -on -one, and helping you be your best self. Now into number two, the next question going on with the fat loss keyword, that's why we came up with that keyword for today, is weightlifting or cardio better for fat loss? So I get asked this often, especially to people who are new to the gym, if people wanna lose fat, it's like, how do I lose that fat? And naturally, the common logic is let me go sweat. How can I sweat the fastest? I'll go for a run, I'll go for a crazy bike ride, I'm just gonna do cardio till I'm black and blue. Where this is tough is cardio is great at burning calories, but a lot of people who do this will just eat them back and they'll be in this net neutral situation and won't really solve their problem. A lot of people who wanna lose fat also wanna change their composition. Composition is key, and the best way to change your composition is through lifting. You can target specific muscles, you can build base, you can build strength, you can see some of that fat start to conform, or not conform, some of that fat to transform to muscle and actually doing both of these together is a great tool because you can begin that transformation by lifting heavy by pushing yourself by getting strong by seeing compositional change whereas if you just do cardio you're going to really look saggy you're going to look like you don't really have that tightness and that composition that a lot of people are going for. So I know it's tempting to just starve yourself and do a ton of cardio, but you're not gonna be looking very good for that and you're gonna look very deprived. So it is really important. If you wanna lose a lot of weight, get in there, strength train. Don't just do arms and abs, do the big movements, do the pull days, the big back workouts, do the legs, do things where you're gonna burn a lot of calories, get stronger, build a base, build some posture and start to see your composition shifting. Yeah, weightlifting is so important and it's just unfortunate because there are still myths like tied with it because people will think that they'll become too bulky and even sometimes when I go into a gym and I'll see there's a few people lifting and then just tons of people in the cardio machines, usually it's because cardio is just easier to figure out. You just stand on it or you turn it on, you turn up the, uh, you know, just whatever level you want to get to and then cool, you're good to go. Whereas strength training, whereas weightlifting, you actually have to really focus on your form and it's definitely more of like a longer term investment. It's something that it's going to pay you back over and over again for the rest of your life, your metabolism boosted. And, you know, strength training, like it just, it's, it's properly rated. I wouldn't say underrated, but I do believe that more people will benefit from it. And if you picture two people, let's say two people lose 20 pounds, one person's focused on cardio and nutrition. Let's say they lose 10 pounds of fat and they lose 10 pounds of muscle. Whereas the other person who's really focused on strength training, their protein, their nutrition, and they also do some cardio, let's say they lose 20 pounds, 18 pounds of it may be fat, and two pounds of it will be muscle. Usually you will lose a little bit of muscle, but we wanna minimize that. That person that I just described is gonna look so much better. So they lost the exact same amount of weight, but the one person who did the strength training, who pushed themselves, who did all those workouts, like Josh said, they're gonna look in the mirror and be like, holy, I look a different person. Whereas the other person will be losing a lot more muscle and they won't be as happy with how they look. So do a perfect combination. Once again, that's something we help with is just giving the perfect amount of strength training, three to five strength training per ses sessions per week based off your situation as well as cardio but not too much but not too little everything is situational and uh, hopefully that answers that question well awesome question now into number three continuing with the fat loss train what is the best supplement for fat loss so right off the hop supplements are supplemental to a good training and nutrition routine if you want to lose fat you're going to get way more out of effective training and nutrition than you are any supplement most if not all supplements in my opinion that are catered towards fat loss are going to do little to nothing in your journey fat burners are not worth the risk you're just playing with fire at that point and they're not significant enough to work anything that would be would be banned i know there's been some crazy ones in the past like the hydroxy cut i believe but a lot of them and a lot of fat loss things in general are just really intense diuretics so it'll be like a lot of caffeine a lot of things just to make you essentially excrete water amongst other things and that's where it's a very short-term effect thing and the whole goal is to heat up your metabolism this and that but they've been proven very ineffective and very minimal in your journey it's just a lot more sexy and appealing to believe i can take some fat burners put some sweet sweat on my stomach and I'll look great. That's not the way it works. At the end of the day, you just gotta start training, eating a little bit of a deficit and fat will come off. If I had to answer what the best supplement for fat loss is, I would say it's protein and protein is a nutrient. So not just protein powder, but actually getting more protein in your diet. And you can supplement that in with tools like protein powders, 
protein hack foods. I've been loving the Quest peanut butter cups. I've been loving the Quest cheese crackers. I've been loving the Quest uh, chips. I'm not sponsored by them. And I, I used to like Quest bars, but I kind of hate the Quest bars. But it's cool all these different hacks they've come up with. And I'm not saying your diet should just be fully consisting of these items. But for me, even around 3, 4 p.m., I like a midday snack. I find I like to recharge and having something there that's very satiating as protein is more of a satiating nutrient. It also provides more energy and it just really good in general because it's also very low cal. It's going to help with muscle development, with fat loss, all these great things. So implementing more protein in your diet and making it easier for you to do that by supplementing it with some fun things. Like I love that I essentially get to have two Reese uh, peanut butter cups each day and enjoy that and actually get a decent amount of protein and some healthy fats and feel very nourished from it. Whereas if I actually have a true Reese peanut butter cup, not the Quest protein one, I'm still feeling pretty hungry. Gets that sugar vibe kick in and it doesn't do me a ton of success. So that's what I would recommend. Caffeine also is a great thermogenic in general. It can be really effective and get you sweating, get you charged up for your workout. So a good pre-workout, just supplementing caffeine in before that can be a benefit as well. And then I would still take creatine. I know a lot of people try to cut it out when they're dieting because they just want to see that scale go down. They don't want that bloating. But at the end of the day, creatine is going to help you perform better, get a little bit more endurance in your workouts as well as a little bit more power. It's relatively cheap and that's ultimately going to help you lose more fat and build a better composition. And keep your eyes out. If you're following us on Instagram, Instagram. This is another reason to make sure you're following us. Kyle just finished his guide. I'm making a whole supplement guide. I haven't revised ours for a long time. So I'm also including some other supplements I'm intrigued on, things like ashwagandha, things that I actually do believe in. And there's no fluff in there. It's not going to be a crazy long guide, but it's going to be stuff that science is very positive on that has really great effects. And you'll be able to learn when that's available by following us on Instagram. And once again, our Instagram is at Colossus Fit, C-O-L-O-S-S-U-S-F-I-T. And for those of you that are ready to level up, to build your best physique, to lay the foundation, to make an investment in yourself and see true change. If you've been saying you want to see change, but you haven't, you have to ask yourself why. And this is your chance because we guarantee results. So right now, go ahead, DM us on Instagram saying fat loss to secure your spot. And I just want to thank everyone for tuning in today. Take charge of the week, get after it, make it yours, and we will see you in the next episode. Peace out.